Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day. In this video we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring boss fights in New Game Plus with a very special weapon that almost nobody uses. The Samur Corp Sword is a unique weapon with a lot of special features that are mostly overlooked every time someone tries to use it. It has a unique R1 moveset that looks really amazing and consumes less stamina than other curved greatswords R1 chains. In addition, it has a pretty decent frostbite build up as a passive effect that is boosted significantly by its unique skill. The Samur Ice Storm is one of the best frostbite the skills you can find in the game. It is insanely fast to proc this effect and is not hard to use. It deals a tremendous amount of stance damage allowing you to create gaps to spam it as much as you wish, completely melting your target's HP bar. However, this weapon is quite weird, cause it deals only physical damage with its regular moveset but if we use the skill it will deal purely magic damage. Moreover, we can boost the power of this ability with nothing but our buffs or the weapon upgrade level and it doesn't seem to scale directly with AR or any stat but that doesn't mean it is not good, it's just interesting. Interesting. As crazy as it sounds, this is not an intelligence weapon, it's mostly a dexterity weapon that fits really good in a quality build. I actually find this weapon a little bit tricky, it's not as easy as with other weapons to show its true potential and it has a limited range, but it is incredibly powerful. Some enemies can be destroyed so fast that it's hard to understand where all that damage came from. This weapon can be obtained in mid game, you have to defeat the ancient hero of summer boss that can be found at the end of the giant conquering hero's grave. Despite of having multiple aspects to consider, this weapon is really fun to use and I'm pretty sure that with the right setup you will enjoy it a lot. First of all I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the very major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to be using the Summer Curve Sword on plus 10 and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want you can use the commander's standard as your aura buff, it's amazing in certain scenarios but it will not last as long as Golden Bow. You can choose any armor set you like but for the drips I'm gonna be rocking the Summer set, it has a strong warrior vibes and I really love it. If you want to deal an extra amount of damage you can use the Spellblade said. I didn't use it cause it doesn't look cool with this build, but if you need that extra 8% of damage, go for it. It can be useful in a lot of fights. The best talismans for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Magic Scorpion Charm and the Old Lord's Talisman. In case you want to use the R1 moveset more than the skill, you can use the Millicent's Prosthesis or the Roaring Windsor Insignia. In our Physic class, the Magic Shrouding Crackteer and the Stone Barb Crackteer will be extremely effective. This weapon doesn't consume a lot of stamina, so Pickle Turtle Legs are not necessary at all this time. To break the game with this build we need Forion Vigor and Endurance, we must level up Strength to 50, Dexterity to 80 and Fate to 33. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. This is the good one. Come on, he's coming. Nice. Boom. This weapon is really weird guys cause it deals only physical damage but the skill deals magic damage. Nice. Wow. Come on buddy. And you're not going anywhere. Oh. The crazy cancel right there, bro. <laughs> I got you, homie. I got you, homie. I got you, homie. Ooh. You want another one? Oh, you want another one? You want another one, right? Yeah, you want another one. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yeah, the skill is a little bit slow, but it's pretty powerful. Give it to me, please. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. Nice. That's a nice Morgoth kill, baby. No, oh, this one is really good. Come on. Come on. One more. 
Another one. No! You don't, buddy. Let's go! <laughs> that was very close, guys. <laughs> No shot. I am alive, bro. How? The best moveset in the world. Three, four. Oh! <laughs> no way. <laughs> Crazy. No. That's a dirty movement. Oh. Oh. Come on. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, the buff routine is pretty simple this time, guys. Just use Golden Bow. Then your Pickle Turtle Leg is completely optional, remember that. Then use your Physic. And Howl of Chevrolet. And that's it. That's the buff routine. Let's go with the God Skin Duo, baby. No way it worked! No way it worked! Please go, it worked! <laughs> Come on, bro. Nice, baby. Come on. Show me what you can do. Oh, oh! <laughs> Destroy it, bro. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I am not prepared for this. Please, bro, don't be a bad boy. Oh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> Come on, give it to me, bro. Let's go! <laughs> Ay, we did it, guys. Nice.
Come on guys, it's possible. Get close enough. Nice. You're not going to do it! Let's go, baby! <laughs> nice! I mean, it's a decent weapon, it can be better, but... Uh, it wasn't that bad, you know? Hey there, Moh! We are one month, month closer to the DLC, bro. That makes me so happy, buddy. What about you? What about you, bro? Are you happy? Please give me your happy. Tell me you're happy. Tell me you're happy, bro. Oh, he's happy, man. <laughs> One month away, guys. Let's go. Again, let's go. Come on, please. <laughs> Let's go. 